Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be sharing my top five best retinols that I love to apply to my neck area. Now if you've been following me for a little while, a lot of you know that I cannot apply my prescription tretinoin to my neck area. My neck is very sensitive. A lot of people have sensitivities when it comes to the neck area with specific products. A lot of people are sensitive when they apply direct acids to their neck, retinols, retinoids, or even regular products for that matter. And so when we're applying products to our neck, it's very important to use products that we can tolerate to, but it's also very important to be treating our neck at the same time as when we treat our face. Our neck is one of the first areas that we start to see aging. The neck area is very thin, the skin is more delicate, and the neck also doesn't produce the same amount of oil as our face. So with that being said, we tend to experience more sensitivities when it comes to this region. So I have five retinols that I absolutely love. They work for me. I want to share them with all of you as well. I do have some budget-friendly options here, and I do have one that is a little bit more expensive, but it's also a little bit stronger as well. So depending on what your skin type is like and what you can handle, perhaps you will be able to find a product in this video for your neck routine. So if you're curious to see what I'm going to be sharing in today's video, please keep on watching, but also don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell, and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as well. All right, so with these five retinols, they work so well when it comes to the neck area, and of course, if you choose to use this on your face as well, then that is also perfect. You can totally use this on your face or even bring it down to your chest and decollete area, which I will do from time to time. It's important to treat this area as well. Now, with these five retinols, I would be lying if I said that these did not cause irritation and dryness. These do and these will, especially on my skin type. My neck is so sensitive, you guys. It really is. I have experienced a lot of irritation and retinol burn where my neck was red, it was itchy, it was burning, I had little white heads that just broke out everywhere. It was a nightmare. And I do have a video on my channel where I shared a before and after photo of what my neck looked like with retinol burn and what product I used to heal my neck. I will leave that video below for you as well as up here. It is a drugstore cream and it works amazing. So go and check it out if you experience irritation from time to time. It's good to have on hand just in case because I feel like we never know how we're going to tolerate to certain retinol products so it's good to have creams on hand just in case you need them. But with these five retinol products, I really like to alternate them. Now this is not necessary. You don't need five different types of retinols. You only need one, one that works best for your skin type. So I have tested out a lot of retinols, which is why these are my five favorites, because they work for me but I've also tested different ways of using retinol. So I always apply retinol to a dry face or a dry neck for prevention of quick absorption. I think it's really important to do this to prevent further irritation and dryness. And so when I apply these, I will pick Monday as one retinol, Tuesday I will pick a different retinol, and then of course Wednesday I will pick a different one, and I alternate in between all of them. Now I know it sounds crazy, I know that that is like, whoa, that's a lot of products, and it is, but I like to test out products, and so when I do this I accumulate a lot of products, and this is my way of using up my products as well. So. This is what I do, this is what works best for me. Let's just get right into it and let's go in with the first product. So the first retinol that I'm gonna be sharing first is one that I've been using for a very long time and this is the Ordinary Retinol 1% in Squalene. Now before using Tretinoin two years ago, I was using this on my face as well as my neck and I really liked it back then and I did experience irritation with this. I think that this is very, very powerful, especially if you have more of a sensitive skin type Type. I really don't have sensitive skin. I have normal to combo skin, but when it comes to retinols, of course, and acids, everybody can be sensitive to these products at some point, especially depending on what strength you're using. 
I started with the lower strength and I worked my way up to the 1%. So if you are new to this product, it'd be a good idea to start with the lowest percent, work your way up to the 1% if that is your goal in time. It's not necessary, but if you want to do that, then of course you have that option to do so. And I do like the 1% the best. So when I apply this to my neck, this feels incredible. I really love the formulation and the texture because this is a serum, but it's more of an oily serum. This is oil free, but that's why I like this because of the texture. It keeps my neck comfortable. It feels very moisturizing on the skin and I really, really love it. Now, this may not be everyone's cup of tea because of the formulation. A lot of people enjoy creamy serums or cream-based retinols and I have to agree I'm the same way. I prefer that type of formulation the best. But for the neck area, this is a lovely option to go with. Now, the Grand Active Retinoid by The Ordinary is also a great option. I don't have this product because Canadians cannot purchase this product, but I have used it before several years ago and it's quite lovely as well. It has a creamy, milky texture to it and I found it to be pretty moisturizing as well. But for some reason, I find this one to be more moisturizing, and that's my own opinion. So if you're looking for a oily, textured serum that is a retinol, I highly recommend The Ordinary. I will show you what this looks like on the back of my hand. I also want to let you know as well, and a lot of people may not know this, but if you use the Grand Active Retinoid or the Retinol from The Ordinary, you do want to refrigerate this after opening, and it says it right on the bottle. So I do keep this in the fridge just to let you know. So that's what it looks like there. And this does spread fairly nice. I do about four drops for my face and then maybe three drops for my neck. Of course, I don't put this on my face anymore, but when I was, I was doing four drops. So I'm just giving you an idea of how much I applied. Now this does absorb pretty quickly in my opinion. That is already massaged in and my skin doesn't feel sticky or tacky. It just feels very moisturized, which is really important when you're using a retinol product. The next retinol is by Versed, and this is the Press Restart Gentle Retinol Serum. Now this is an encapsulated retinol, which means that this is going to have a slow release. This is going to penetrate into your skin more slowly, and this is going to be more gentle and less irritating on the skin. So if you have more of a sensitive skin type, then perhaps you may want to choose a retinol product that is encapsulated. Now if I'm consistent with this, and I use this every day for several days, I will experience dryness with this. So I do find it to be effective, but this is the weaker retinol that I'm going to be sharing in this video compared to the other four. So I do want to let you know that, but it's still lovely and perfect for the neck area. Now this also contains Bacuchiol, which is a plant-based alternative to retinol. This also contains sunflower seed oil, and this ingredient is very moisturizing, and it feels incredible on the skin, and and it's really high up in the ingredient list. So I do find this to be very moisturizing and I love this. I love this for the neck and the decollete area because of that. So I will show you what this looks like. It has a nice little pump. This is from the drugstore. And I really like this serum because it's creamy, but it also has a watery texture to it as well. So it absorbs into your skin really quickly. So that's what it looks like there and a little bit goes a long way with retinol. All you need is a pea size amount when you are applying cream-based retinols or creamy serums. All you need is one pump to do your entire face as well as your neck if you can go that far. And as you can see, it spreads really nice and that is already absorbed in. My skin is not greasy or sticky and once this dries down a little bit more, it will feel like velvet. It feels very moisturizing. The next retinol is by CeraVe, and this is the Skin Renewing Cream Serum. I have been using this for a fairly long time as well, and I think that this is a great drugstore option that is effective. Now, this also contains an encapsulated retinol, very similar to the Versed, but in my opinion, I think that this is more effective. I find that I experience more irritation with this product more so than the first. 
So that's what I've noticed with myself, but I really like this one because it contains niacinamide, which is perfect for dark spots, hyperpigmentation, if you have oily, acne-prone skin. This also contains hyaluronic acid. This has glycerin, which is very high up in the ingredient list, which is very moisturizing on the skin. And this also has ceramides, which I think is very important to have in any skincare product, but it's also very important to have in a retinol because ceramides help to strengthen and repair the skin barrier. So I love that this has ceramides, so it's going to prevent future irritation, but it's also going to be repairing and strengthening our skin barrier at the same time, every time we apply this to our skin, and I think that's a fabulous thing. So love this, love, love this. I'm going to show you what this looks like on the back of my hand. Why isn't it coming out? I do have some left. There we go. And it has a pump as well. Again, you only need one pump to do your face and your neck. This one also spreads very nice, and this does absorb pretty quickly as well because it's still that serum texture. But I do find this one to be more moisturizing than the Versed, in my opinion. I feel like this one gives your skin more of that hydrated feel, and again, this is something that's not sticky or greasy, and that's what it looks like there. The next retinol product is by Paula's Choice, and this is the 1% Retinol Treatment. Now, I really love this product because this contains peptides, which is perfect for fine lines and wrinkles and for signs of aging. So if you are somebody that is already using a peptide serum, you can pair that up with this as well and get a double dose of the peptides, or you can just eliminate your separate peptide serum and just use this because, of course, this already contains peptides. I like to pair this up with other types of peptides. That's just something that I've always done, but it's not necessary to do that either. Now, this also contains vitamin C. There is also glycerin, ceramides, hyaluronic acid in here, and a lot of other great ingredients also. And I find this to be very moisturizing and very comfortable on the skin but I do find that this is more potent than the previous three that I shared. I do experience irritation and dryness with this. My skin will feel warm and it will feel a little bit irritated, so I do need to be careful with this product in particular, but this would be fabulous to apply on your face as well, especially if you're somebody that doesn't use tretinoin. I think that this is a great option to go with. So that's what it looks like. And this has the exact same texture and consistency as CeraVe. It also feels the exact same in terms of hydration as well to the CeraVe. So I'm just going to let you know that just for reference. But this is also another retinol that doesn't make my skin tacky or sticky either. And the fifth product is actually a retinol to hide, and this is by Aven, and this is the Retrinol 0.1 Intensive Cream. So if you don't know the difference between a retinol, a retinol to hide, and a retinoid being a prescription tretinoin, not too long ago I did upload a video talking about the difference between the three, and there is quite a difference on how they perform on the skin. So I will leave that video below for you in my description box as well as up here. But a retinaldehyde is stronger than a retinol, but this isn't as strong and as intense as a prescription tretinoin. So if you've been using a retinol for a very long time and you feel like using something a little bit stronger, then I would graduate to a retinaldehyde as this is one step closer to retinoic acid, which is tretinoin. And I love using this on my neck area, especially for the fine lines that I have. I notice that when I use this, my neck feels more soft and smooth and some of the fine lines don't look as prominent. But I can't use this every day, unfortunately, because my neck would be a mess. So I do like to use this at least two times a week just to put something a little bit stronger on my neck to treat the fine lines that I do have. And you can also use this on your face as well. So I highly recommend this. So I will show you what this one looks like. And that's what it looks like there. 
and a little bit goes a long way with this one also. This also spreads very nice. It absorbs nicely also. This one has more of a creamy texture to it. A little bit thicker than the others that I shared. And this is also a product that doesn't leave my skin tacky or sticky. But I do find this one to be the most hydrating one. This one feels more moisturizing on the skin. So those are my top five favorite retinol products for my neck area. Again, I see incredible results with every single one of these. Of course, some are stronger than others, but hopefully I gave you recommendations so that depending on what skin type you have, you will have options to choose from in this video. So I will leave all of the products that I talked about in today's video linked below for you in my description box. Let me know if you've ever tried any of these before and also let me know what are you using on your neck what types of retinols or retinoids or retinol hides are you using share your products below so thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it and of course I will see you all in my next video take care and I will see you guys then bye guys <laughs>